So one uh, other option when dealing with this, these old fireplaces or actually just uh, maybe brick walls. Some people don't like uh, this red color. Uh, some people really like it. Uh, so yeah, that's the matter of taste. You can actually, I don't know if you can see, but it's these bricks are covered with uh, some uh, shiny stuff. Uh, so it would be an ass hassle to remove it. Uh, you, yeah, then you should use a grinder. It's a lot of dust. So it's sometimes it's easier just to paint it. And currently the homeowner, homeowner, sorry, prefers uh, painting. You can also plaster it uh, by using uh, correct methods. Uh, actually, I did it uh, upstairs. I will show you. Uh, but yeah, it's um, just to have this clean look. It's the, the easiest thing to do is to paint it. But otherwise, yeah, you could use a lime plaster, a clay plaster, and some other types of uh, industrial plasters, which contain cement, for example. Yeah, there are a lot of options to cover the fireplace or or to cover these old uh, old brick walls. I mean, if the walls, let's say brick walls are really look nice, you have these really old uh, old bricks, uh, then it's probably, it would be wise to try to restore the wall, maybe fill in again these joints, so yeah, there are many options. So the next task I have on the list is painting uh, this part of an old uh, fireplace. I will show you the other side. And here was actually a wood burning stove. So I closed this opening here. And I took a special paint uh, for fireplaces. So it has to uh, has to do well uh, with heat. So maybe in the future they will install a wood burning stove here. So this uh, this part here is actually to uh, to save some uh, some of the heat from the wood burning stove. The first thing what I will do is I will uh, fill in uh, these joints between the bricks. Uh, with the brush you see here and then I will cover it uh, with this uh, roll or roller
pusinik. To crush uh, first, to fill in all these joints between the bricks, I will take my miniature roll and I will just uh, roll over it. So that's why I will get the excess paint off of this uh, brick wall. So that's uh, how I will avoid, avoid uh, running uh, paint. Otherwise, if you put too much paint on it, you will see uh, like these running strips of paint. And that's one thing I would like to avoid, like you see here. And when using this, this method, I will eliminate this problem. But of course, if you want to have this, uh, uh, this brush painted look, then of course, you should just go back and see if there is any strip of paint and then uh, you can remove it or you can use, use the roll as well. So this is first layer, tomorrow I will cover it with the second, second layer. <laughs> 